Hello everyone. In these videos, we will study the shape of the p orbital. We will use the x, y, z coordinates as shown. And we will take a particular case of 2px because we have learned that while solving Schrodinger wave equation, both radial and angular part must be considered. The node in px is x equal to 0, which is the yz plane. It's y equal to 0 in Py and z equal to 0 in Pz. So this is our nodal plane for the 2px orbital. The probability of electron being here will be 0. So where will the electron be? Allow me to attempt to represent it. Answer is almost everywhere else. This cloud represents the possibility of electron being at a specific position. The higher the density of the cloud, higher the possibility. I'll remind you once again that probability is something which we can't see. This is the best approach to depict the situation. So while the electron appears to be everywhere, there is a pattern here. As we move away from the nucleus, probability keep on decreasing as dictated by the radial wave function, with zero being the number of node in 2p. And as we get closer to nucleus, the likelihood increases. Let's take a look at what's going at the node, our nodal plane. And we can see probability of electron existing at x equal to 0 is 0. Now, if we want to represent a complete picture of where an electron is in terms of probability, we will need the entire picture till infinity. But that's not necessary here. Merely the region containing 90% of the likelihood will suffice. And for 2px, the result is as follow. So there you have it, my dear friends, the iconic p orbital's dumbbell shape. And since the angular wave function is independent of principal quantum number, 2px, 3px, 4px and so on will have similar probability distribution for the angular part of the wave function. And the py and pz are explained similarly with the exception that their nodal planes are different. Check out the orbital shape and orientations here as well as our lecture in Hindi for a more in-depth explanation. Buy and take.